what's the step number four, David? Very simple. Focusing and finding your purpose and pattern in life. That sounds powerful. Yep. It really sounds powerful. Now, those four steps put together, it gives you the best biryani you can have. It's better than the Hyderabadian biryani. I can tell you that. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. So when we, so this is what success is all about, guys, when yes. you know, from the perspective of David, and it makes a lot of sense. It comes from the deep insights of uh, not just, um, you know, when you hear several gurus or teachers, but also from regular, um, you know, day-to-day -day life that a normal person is living. It is at the end of the day, success is all about being happy, finding your happiness, fulfilling your potential uh, and living a life which you would you know would love to you know have that's where you, you're feeling you have the freedom to be able to make the choices that you want to have um let, let me just illustrate that expand a little bit on that so you get a feel how many of you follow the politics that is currently in america how many have been following? Sorry? Some of us are, yes. Right. And, and you know what's happened today with uh, with our President um, Trump, right? He's been impeached, right? Mm -hmm. Twice. Now, he's got all the wealth. I'm not putting Trump down. He's got all the wealth. He's got everything that is going for him. But is a man really happy? Is he fulfilling a purpose in life? Yeah, so to say he's the most powerful guy. Exactly. Now, I take the same situation, same scenario, and I've just finished um, Nelson Mandela's autobiography. And I look at how a man for 20 years was in a prison. He comes out and he liberates a nation. And when he died, in fact, I got a photo. I, I wish I could have put up that photo in, in Joburg where he's got the statue of him. You know, the people have put a statue of him some 100 meters up in the air. And... Uh, Sorry, one yeah, hundred meters up in the air, and this guy turned around and he he was out there helping people. He was out there digging the trenches with those that are suffering. Now, did he get happiness? My oath, he did. Obviously, otherwise the people's love will not be shown in a little statue like that. And the statue is not a significant thing to point out to, but the significant thing to point out to is what he had left behind is a legacy for hundreds of people to follow. He was the person that broke that appetite movement of the blacks. Mm. We know it because we here in Australia were playing rugby union with the Springboks. They were only all white players until... Our friend came in and broke that. Why should there be a disparity in race and color? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what Maybe. humanity is all about. Guys, mm -hmm. now that is success, man. I don't know if it makes sense to you. Yeah, it's not about being popular. It's being no. creating that value which creates so much of fulfillment, not just within you, but so much of, uh, you know, beautiful benefits to people around you as well. Mm. And, and, and see, this is the key element we should look at. And I'm sorry to say, and this is, <laughs> I, I, I'm apologizing today, but on Saturday, I'm talking to parents and about 400 students, <laughs> okay, on the same topic. Oh, no, I'm talking on the three E's, but, you know, a similar topic. And, and, and the irony of it is the education system doesn't provide this. Okay, and what we need to do is we need people, you know, icons like you, man, out there, icons like you to turn around and say, you know, we got to do something. We yeah. got to create change. Yeah. I am, and, and I saw a movie way back, and it says, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired? 2020 <laughs> was a rotten year. Let's look at 2021 being a poof, yes. tsunami year for you. And I think it started with an amazing bang for both of us, at least. 
with yeah. such good reviews I'm getting for conversations with Karuna and you having launched your book. I know. Jan- <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. Uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt, but you know, this is another thing. As a coach, I failed. Mm-hmm. I had written the book and completed the book in two thousand and nineteen. Would you believe it? December. But mm-hmm. you know, other priorities. See, this is why it's important when your purpose is not defined. Other priorities came in place, which is valid because I wanted to go into UAE and start helping people there, which I did. For about three or four months, I want to go to South Africa and do the same thing over there, which I did. And then I, I, you know, I came back into into Australia and did some work here, and then did some work in Spain with John Grinder and those people over there, and 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 my tribe over there, I should say. And then when when it came to this, the book was still sitting on the shelf. So I dusted it last October, November, and I said January one, I'm going to launch it, my birthday. So I launched it. Wow. <laughs> Belated birthday wishes. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Thank you. An amazing milestone received, uh, achieved. So tell yeah. us more about the book. Um, you know, we we did define what is success all about, and and that concept is not just your own concept, but universally accepted from a point that all of us as human beings want to feel fulfilled, mm-hmm. and that fulfillment is what we all, you know, want to get from whatever actions that we're doing. Right. Um, and uh, so when we want to wire ourselves for success, what are some things that you talk about in the book? Okay, um, some key elements that I would like people to to, to anchor themselves on is, uh, we, we spoke about your mainstream education, okay? And then we spoke about exposure, mm-hmm. all right? And I touched on the term called coaching, but the third and most vital area in my view, and all of this is in the book, by the way. Everything I'm talking is in the book, all right? So you're getting a pre-launch of the book. By the way, um, I think my marketing team uh, are, are putting out a, a landing page with, with a lot of this information for you on an e. So so click on it. It's free. It's an e-chapter of why I wrote the book. After 22 years working and coaching with people, I found there was a need to write that book. So it's a condensed version of the need for why such a book is being put out now. Mm -hmm. Okay, with all these tools and patterns. Now, the third form that of education that is vital, in my opinion, not important, but vital, there's a difference, is experience. Mm -hmm. Whose experience? The experience of someone who has walked through the trenches. That's where a guide, a guru, a coach, and a mentor comes into play. Ladies and gentlemen, the three E's for foundation of an uh, for foundation of a person's education. Most of us are hanging on one E. And let me ask you this particular information: Have you seen a table sitting with one leg? Is it stable? But have you seen a table sitting on two legs? At least a table with three legs is a tripod, and that's reasonably stable. And that's why the three E's are so vital. Education cannot let go of it. You need your mainstream education to give you the three R's, I call it, the basics. That's all it is. And most people hang on their coattails on that education. So when they come out with a degree, they go for a second degree, a third degree, an MBA, a PhD. I beg my forgiveness, you know, when I use this term PhD, person heading for disaster. Very interesting. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> take stock. And I, I hope I'm not putting people down by, you know, I, I, I'm, being, I'm being critical, but at the same time constructive. I'm yet, there are some good PhD people out there. Very good. But I'm yet to see a, a really happy, wealthy PhD person. Seriously. <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Okay. Now, when I come down from that, that experience that I'm talking about, I'm see, I'm a very transparent bullseye person, okay? So that experience I'm talking about is not the experience of somebody who pontificates after he or she has read a book. No. It is somebody who has done the walk, the walk, then doing the talk, the talk. Not somebody who's read 10 chapters and comes and does a lecture on it. 
No. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say to people, there are many coaches out there. Be very mindful of how you select your coaches. Mm -hmm. Just like you go for an interview. So the key element now is the three E's. Education, vital. Exposure, vital. Experience, vital. When you have the three E's, you are not cooking with gas, ladies and gentlemen. You're really cooking with gas and you can fire up to get your step two, fulfilling your purpose, mm. your potential, and to get your step three to make the change. Mm. You see, you see, I tell you something. There's out there on YouTube so much of information. Most people go and see that and come and do a little bit of it. But how many of you actually go and practiced it? How many of you have gone and smelt the gunpowder yeah. of whatever you want to get to doing? Very few. That's the power of what I'm talking about. So that's in the book. What else is in the book? Productive habits. Mm. We were taught to brush our teeth. We we're taught to do all the usual things. But let me ask you one simple question. How many of you spend time with yourself today? And how much of time do you spend with yourself today? So we have what I call a ritual pattern that I put in the book. Morning rituals and night rituals. Just like you have three meals a day, that's to feed this belly so it can go sideways. But we need three meals a day, minimum two, to do this. And I'm a yeah. firm believer of rituals. I've been pushing that rituals. And I've had people who are in the pits of unhappiness, people who are in the pits of depression, people who are in the pits of don't know what to do. Once they start practicing these rituals, some tube light begins to open in them. Mm. And I, I must personally say that, you know, there are certain discipline, um, you know, disciplines that our parents taught at a certain time. Uh, when we are in a certain age, you know, especially I'm talking from a personal experience here. I used to question those disciplines. Mm. And now that I'm, I'm a, you know, mom of a young child and uh, there are a lot of life changes I've gone through. I myself look at creating those rituals for my child. And now that I do that, I realize the benefits of what I was taught. Even right. though you know, for certain years of my life, I decided not to follow it. I chose to do things on my own. But, you know, life comes in a circle. And um, I realize personally the benefits of following certain rituals in my own life, you know, doing something at a certain time regularly on a daily basis, which helped me not just in my personal life, but also made me much more productive in my professional life. Exactly. Exactly. You see, this, um, the, the term rituals could be coined differently by many people. It is not uh, religious rituals, please. It is rituals that I call habit pattern shifts that we need to do to ourselves and mm. each time you reorientate realign your thinking when you realign your thinking based on a purpose or an intention by the way how many of you have read the book called the power of intentions by wayne dwyer that's a good start for 2021 mm. guys power mm. of intentions so when you have that in your head mm. And you got the right intentions, you got the right purpose, and you've mm -hmm. got the right rituals, and everything is going. You know something? You are now in synchronicity with the yes. universe, and you are in sync with your body, your soul, and your mind. And magic happens, and everybody says he's lucky. He's lucky. Labor under correct knowledge. That's why he's lucky. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I, I got to know something new about luck today. <laughs> that was my learning from this entire right. discussion. One of the learnings, rather, from this entire discussion. Um, now, coming while we're coming towards, even though I would love to continue talking, we're coming towards the end of the conversations. Please. Um, and I would want you to tell people how can they reach out to you, how can they order your book, and um, any 
uh, you know, uh, closing comments that you might have. And I, okay. let, before that, let me tell you, people are just pouring in some amazing comments for you. Um, Akshay says it's amazing. Jitender says really appreciate it. Uh, Sham Kishore also feels it's an excellent um, conversation. Uh, Murali says fantastic. And a lot of Thank us um, are, are there appreciating about Thank what you you're talking really. about. Thank you. Uh, you, you you're, you're giving that acknowledgement, yes, to me, yes, but it is not mine. It is my coaches. I am just a messenger boy. And and I, I, I pass it back to those gentlemen and ladies who coached me the last 22 to 25 years to get to where I am. Uh, it, it's, it's vital, guys, to understand success just doesn't come overnight. You have to build on it. And when you build on it, you will then understand, you know, you build on a solid foundation. And and the book that I've written uh, is, is a bottom-up book. By the way, I've already uh, finished my second book. It's going to be launched in April. And and that book is called Your Why. <laughs> so I, I've got these productive things coming in for why you're su uh, success. And then we talk about your why, your purpose in life. You know, when the two put together, your right and your left arm, man, you're going to fire like, you know, you're, you're, you've never seen any success there. So, guys, the book is available on Amazon.com. Globally, it is on Amazon.com. In India, it's on Amazon.in, I think. And uh, it's on Flipkart. It's on all the channels that is there. Uh, it's everywhere. That's the first thing. The second thing is um, look out for what my Facebook ad is uh, team are doing. Why do I say look out for that? It's not to sell you anything. It is for you to want to reach out to me. I will be giving 20, I think 15 to 20 minute sessions for selected people who get into that platform, um, landing page, put their details, and at the same time request for a time where I will spend personal time on just doing an assessment with you, like what our friend just asked in the question there, and giving mm -hmm. you a, a, a rough wheel of life so you can actually walk away with something after 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, so look out for that. I'm in all channels, you know, Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, LinkedIn, all of those places. So you can look out for that. So look out for that under David Nye. Just go and type David Nye in G-O-G-L-E. By the way, that's called Google. Uh, type it in there. <laughs> And then, and then you'll see what pops up. Um, that's where you can reach me. In relation to trying to connect with me for the book, I would just suggest you just dial into Amazon and get it from there directly. Um, for those that come through the landing page, they will be getting an extra 33% discount or whatever. I, this is all the marketing team. I'm just ad-libbing. I hope I'm giving you the right figures. But it's all there, guys, okay? I, I, I'm i not heavy into that. I'm not selling the book for the sake of selling. I want to reach out. I want to get one million people, you know, in a, to, to, to transform. And I want about 20 or 30 of you guys that are listening to it to actually be part of a team that can go out and make shake and move the world, man. We need people out there, you know? We need people who got guts to do that thing. Uh, we just can't sit back. Um, Thank you, everyone. Thank you, David. Thank you. And we'll be back again next week, next Thursday, with much more interesting, many more interesting sessions. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now. Ciao. From down under, Brisbane, Australia. Take care, people. Bye. Bye.